Southern fried catfish. Talk uh -huh. about something different for dinner tonight. I'm sure you could use this method that we're doing with a lot of other um, types of fish as oh, well. Oh, definitely. Perch, you know, you guys have your perch fries. Sure. Same batter, same deep frying, same temperature. So Most the special definitely. part about this is the batter. Let's uh, yeah, get to it. Most definitely. Mm -hmm. um, the batter is basically a couple eggs. Okay. Crack those yep, fish. you betcha. Three okay. eggs. Three eggs. Okay. Yep. A little lemon juice, yeah, huh? I'm gonna add a little lemon juice. That's to that. interesting. I love lemon juice with all seafood, and oh, I yeah. wouldn't have thought to put it in, in into the batter here. Yeah. Okay. And then I'm add a little Creole mustard. Ooh. So it's really gonna have some nice flavor. Oh yeah. Okay. And that's it for the batter, and then for the catfish. I'm using a roasted garlic grill mate seasoning. Okay. You don't have to use a like a Cajun season for it because uh, the batter that I'm using is Zatarain's fish fry. Okay. So it has all the season that you need in it. Okay. So I'm just using a light garlic season. Okay. Just to season up the fish just a little bit. Just to season up the fish a little bit. On both sides. On both sides. And then is the method kind of into the egg and then into the actually, dry? Actually, what <laughs> it's weird. What I'm doing is actually a fried chicken method. Okay. So we're going to go um, into the batter. So we're going to go into the egg wash, and then we're going to go into the batter into again. Into the batter again. Yep. Okay. So what I'm going to do? It's a little messy, but you know, you just got to get in there. Oh, definitely. It's worth the time. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to quarter these. They'll fry up nicely if I quarter them. Okay. And it's easier for portion size. Sure. Okay. So in, oh, you're yep. going to do it with your hands. That's really the way to do it. But this is, uh, again, that mm -hmm. this is just a breading. Can you just find this right at the grocery store? Oh, most definitely. Most and a little definitely. lemon over the lemon, fish. A little lemon over the fish. And then we've got, what kind of oil are we using? We're just using basic canola oil. OK. Mm -hmm. Peanut oil would be the best. How's that look in there? That looks good. And you're going to drop it right to the deep fryer. And then make sure that oil is plenty hot. Definitely. That's the secret. And I'm there. using a fry daddy too. Okay. Excellent. I know sometimes people try and do it on the stove and the temperature can tend to get away from you. But uh, this fry daddy is perfect. You know, it, it stays it at 350, most definitely. Got it. How long till it's done and how do you know when it's done? Well, when it looks like it's good enough to eat and you want to pull it out and eat it, yeah, that's how we know when it's done in Louisiana. But if I were to give you a time, I would say about five to six minutes. Okay, so yeah. just until it's nice and, and, and crispy and golden. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, let me tell you, a lot of people do fish fry in the summer, and you know, this is a fun new different way to do it, trying Almost to give it definitely. a southern flair. I've actually made the same recipe with salmon before. And it turned out good? It did, but the trick was I had to use wild salmon, because the farm-raised salmon is just a little bit too fatty. Okay. So yeah, and I just skinned off the skin of it and battered it the same way that we're battering it now, and it Yum. was fabulous. Yum. Yeah. This is bringing me back to the days when I'm thinking of a catfish poor boy sandwich. Oh, yeah. Wow. When oh, we come yeah. back, we'll let that fish get nice and golden and we'll finish it up. Uh, so stay with us.